this person went from hardly speaking to their specific person to sending me this message below. And it's a success that you can have too. I'm gonna dive way further in depth of this idea later in our video. Uh, but today is day three of our three things to avoid when manifesting a specific person. And the third one is how, again, you're gonna get these results. And today's thing that we want to avoid when manifesting a specific person, and again, doing the opposite brings us the powerful effects, is assuming past beliefs on our specific person. Now, we all accidentally do this, whether we want to or not, right? When we are very familiar with our specific person, we expect them to show up in a certain way. But if we do not like the way that they are showing up or we do not like our current circumstances, then by assuming we're only recreating that same exact thing. And so right now, I want you to just maybe even take out a piece of paper or just think about it, talk, maybe comment it in the comment section. Tell me, how do you feel or how do you assume your specific person would show up right now, right? If they showed up right now for you at this current moment, how do you feel they would show up? And I'm talking about like right now. So what characteristics would they have? Would there be very good things or maybe some not so good things as well? Does this match exactly how you feel they are in their end state? And if not, what differences are there from who you feel they'd show up as now to who you feel they should be in your end state? And I actually, in coaching sessions, will have people review this and like write this out and look at it because it gives us a lot of insight as to what we're currently assuming on our specific person. And again, if we want to change that, we need to stop assuming the same assumptions um, on our reality because it's where we think our reality is think as compared to where we desire it to be. So if we are thinking our reality is a certain way, that's what's going to show up because that's going to be our assumption. But if we switch that to what we are desiring and we start to make assumptions based on that, then we're going to see a totally different aspect from our specific person. And just like I mentioned in that success story, you're going to go from, again, I'm quoting them hardly ever talking to saying exactly what you read right there. And isn't that something you want as well? You, well, you can definitely have it. So I want you to think about, now we're like, okay, let's get right into it. I want you to think about manifesting or assumptions in the same way that you would think of fishing. Now, you don't have to be a fisherman to understand this concept, but think about it in this way. If you are casting your lure in a lake that only has clownfish, I don't actually think you fish clownfish, so all my fishermen below tell me, can you actually fish a clownfish? But if you have, you're casting your lure into uh, a lake with clownfish, you can only ever catch clownfish. And maybe we don't want a clownfish for a specific person. So in this case, let's say instead we don't want this little clownfish activity. We want to switch. We want to catch a lionfish. We then need to take our lure and move it to where the lionfish are. Okay? And I know this metaphor. You're still like, how does this, <laughs> how does this change our assumptions? Well, the trick is... If you're casting your lure into the lake of negative assumption, that's all you're going to be catching. If you are assuming your specific person shows up in a negative way or in a not so positive way, you're casting your lure in the lake of that negative assumption and that's all it contains. You can only catch or bring out clownfish. So when we keep saying oh, my specific person does this and I hate it. I wish they would change. They don't do this for me. They don't do that for me. All of that is just <laughs> casting your lure into the lake of clownfish and then being mad that you only get clownfish back. So that's the assumptions that we want to 
want to change. So then in this case, because we're going to get whatever we're assuming. So then if you begin to assume, you know what, actually they are positive. They always treat me respectfully. They always communicate with me. That is casting your lure into the lake of lionfish or beta fish, right? Um, unless you want an alpha fish. No, I'm just, I don't think there's, I don't know. Comment if there's actually an alpha fish. But like a lionfish or a beta fish, really beautiful, awesome. Um, I googled best looking fish, which I don't think has ever been googled in existence for this video. And I got lionfish and beta fish. So if you guys have a lionfish or a beta fish, comment it down below. But so if we're casting our lure into the lake of positive assumption, you can only catch the lionfish or the beta fish or whatever you want to represent as the positive state of being. And so that's the power of assumption. It always must occur. Again, so don't, no longer are we casting our line into the lake of, um, of clownfish. We don't want a clown for a specific person. Um, they are, clownfish are pretty cute though. But if instead it cast your allure into the positive assumption and you're going to see the positive effects begin to happen. Because again, I want you to imagine the metaphor of the lakes are basically your assumptions, whatever your assumption is going to begin creating. Because you guys have heard me too talk about the essence of you being the director of the play in your reality, right? Everything around you is just aligning to your assumptions. So whether that's positive, whether that's negative, whether that's neutral, your reality is going to show up in whatever way we are assuming it to be. So assume and pick the correct one. It's kind of like ordering off Amazon. I made a whole video on like two-day express shipping with your specific person, but that's what's happening. If Amazon, you you would order exactly what you want off Amazon, and if it didn't show up in the way you wanted, what would you do? You would send it back, and Amazon would be loving to give you exactly what you want. They, You know Amazon. If you say, I didn't want this, they're like, all right, keep it, and here's your money back, right? Like <laughs> Amazon is waiting to give you exactly what you want. And that's the same thing with our reality with our specific person. So if you ordered something that you don't want, return it. If you ordered rudeness <laughs> accidentally from your specific person, return it. And your reality would be happy to send you two-day shipping of love and abundance from your specific person. It all takes effect of what we are assuming though. I can't get this across enough. If we are constantly assuming, and I know it seems, it does feel it's quote unquote hard because it's not hard. It just feels hard for whatever reason because probably we're so familiar with a previous state to change the assumption. But it's, I'm talking about regardless. If your specific person is showing up in a way you don't want, you have to assume that's not them. They actually are fill in the blank of whatever it is. And we'll, we'll talk more about that when I bring up the success story. But remember, two-day express shipping. If you cast your lure into the lake of negative assumptions, that's all you can get. But if you cast your lure into the lake of positive assumptions, that's also all you can get, okay? I actually want to give you a Neville Goddard quote that aligns with this because I really like aligning these with Neville Goddard ideas or like... I just think they help out a lot. So here's a Neville Goddard quote that aligns perfectly and we'll break it down. So if you are dissatisfied with your present expression in life, the only way to change it is to change or to take your attention away from that which seems so real to you and rise in consciousness to that which you desire to be. You cannot serve two masters. Therefore, to take your attention away from one state of consciousness and place it upon another is to die to one and live in the other. And if you guys are you guys are getting the aspect of why I named that one video, rest in peace <laughs> to our single selves, right? We're completely dying. But what I really like is the fact of him saying, the only way to change it is to take your attention away from that which seems so real, because it does seem so real, but we need to take our attention away from that because we cannot serve two masters. You have one lure, right? It can't be in the assumption of positivity and the assumption of negativity, the lakes, the two lakes that we created. 
They can't be simultaneously in both at the same time. We have to pick one because you can't serve two masters. You can't be single and in a relationship at the same time. You can't be loved and unloved. You can't be wealthy, unwealthy, happy, unhappy. One of those states has to happen at a particular time. And when you devote yourself to that reality, to that outcome, you see massive, massive shifts begin to happen. But now I'll dive into our success story that we have for today. And so now you're getting the other half or the entire version of the success story, and I'll read it for you. So it said, hey, Kyle, or hello, Kyle. I'm just getting back to you because so much has happened. A week after I told you he'd contacted me again, he asked me to come and stay with him. And of course, we're now a couple. He told me he never stopped loving me, and I was the woman of his life the future mother of his children. So one week, I know I didn't stay one week at the beginning because I knew you guys were not going to believe me. So you're uh, seeing it for yourself. One week from contact to this, but that's not even the best version of it. Like always, I'm going to give you some circumstances that were happening with their manifestation. So when they first started our email coaching, this is quoted from them what they said. Today, he hardly speaks to me. Quote, I copied and pasted that from their email. Another copy and paste. I'm not his priority. This was also said in their original email of me asking more information about the manifestation. As well as, again, (laughs) all these are copy and pasted. Said, he used to write me all the time or call me, in parentheses, he's working abroad, but now he doesn't pay any attention to me. So also used to write or talk all the time, doesn't anymore. Another added circumstance into that, he's working abroad, okay? So long distance, another one. And then the last one I kind of thought was important for this was, quote unquote, what I have trouble with is letting go. So that's mainly what it means or pertains to our video today. We do have a problem letting go. We do have a problem letting go of things that have happened previously, assumptions that we have on our specific person, right? Those are the things that we're letting go of and actually moving into the reality um, that we truly want, okay? And so I'll give you a step-by-step process in how to do this. So the first thing we did, again, (laughs) with all of these circumstances, so when I met, we did not have this success story yet. That was a week after the first contact. What we want to do, and this is the first thing I had them do, was we need to take control of our internal state. So right now, take control of it. Take control of your assumptions. Know that your assumptions are exactly whatever you want them to be. They are under your control all the time, no matter what. And it's you never lose the control of that, even though sometimes it feels that way. So that's the first kind of effect. So right now, take control over that. And then I had them go through this um, this technique where you basically fill in the blank of when you say, I feel loved when, and you fill in the blank of that. And I think I might have touched on a video of this like a long time ago, but that's going to tell us when we are feeling loved, and it's going to show us our, our beliefs of feeling loved very empowering or disempowering. Okay, so it's basically how difficult or how hard are are we putting it on ourselves to feel loved and in the state? And so that's going to matter massively when it comes to comes to our reality. So basically writing that out, it's going to help us focus on what I write under here. I'm trying to look at my notes. This can help us find what's causing our negative emotions or negative assumptions is a better word for that. So by writing this out, I feel loved when blank, filling in the blank of that. And I can make another video going further in detail on this because it is something really powerful with, uh, with my coaching sessions that I do for people. And again, the reason we went from he hardly ever talks to me to I want you to be mother of my children literally in a week. So that's absolutely crazy. So Take control of your internal state. Ask yourself, I feel loved one blank. What does it take for you to feel loved? And you want to you want to make it as easy as possible to feel loved, to feel into the assumption, because the easier it is to feel into an assumption, the quicker your reality is going to shift to it, okay? And I also want to talk about something called, 
a primary and a secondary desire. This is also going to help us and what I talked about in this coaching session that helped them manifest in that way. So a primary desire is exactly what we want. Okay. So think of the assumptions that we are desiring in our specific person, our end state, our marriage. That's our primary desire. That's our primary manifestation. A secondary desire is something we feel is along the journey or needs to happen in order to get there. So a secondary desire would be like texting, hanging out, calling, right? That's a secondary desire because we feel that takes us to the marriage, to the relationship, to this and to that, okay? That's the secondary desire. But remember, we want to only focus on primary desires or limit the amount of secondary desires. Uh, secondary desires we have because that's basically controlling the middle and we're never going to know the middle or how our manifestation is going to show up, right? So let go of any second desire, secondary desire and only focus on the primary. And what I mean by this then, a secondary desire is assuming your specific person to be something negative or showing up in a bad way and attempting to change that. That's a secondary desire. So if you feel your specific person is rude, mean, late, focusing on changing that is a secondary desire. And actually, you don't have to focus on changing it at all. If you focus on your primary desire of what you want, you're going to see everything come into effect automatically without you even trying. You don't have to focus on secondary desires. I'll use secondary desires in like what I call the intervals of success that I've been helping with my members use, that's though, you wanna limit the amount of secondary desires you have because then otherwise you might end up like manifesting in steps, which isn't always the best. But so primary desire is like baking a cake and a secondary desire is like baking it. And when's the last time you watched a cake just bake, right? And you're like, <laughs> never, right? You just put it in. The primary goal is cake. You set it up, good to go, focus on the end, Everything's all set. So you don't have to focus on anything else but the end result of the baked cake, which is you and your specific person being in the most loving and abundant relationship, okay? But that's that's the main thing. We need to just, we're going to totally stop assuming anything negative. Again, put all of your, in the comment section below, put a negative assumption you have with your specific person and change it. So if you are, my specific person was not giving and now they are giving. My specific person did used to not communicate with me, but now they blow up my phone. Comment that down below. I'm going to expect all my members too. You better, better be commenting down below um, because you guys have the, everyone here, everyone watch this video. I want you to be with your specific person. So actually take the, take the action and write that below. Speaking of my members as well, so I do have, as well as this, so along with every video I've been doing, I do have a guided meditation for this of your specific person. It's a guided meditation where you go out to dinner with your specific person and they desire to show up in the exact way you want. So if you are a member, definitely take time after this video to go check that out. If you wanted to join becoming a member, um, hit the become a member down below. And though also there is, I want to give an update for the giveaway I was doing because we're, we're almost at a hundred members. We might've actually crossed over it already. I haven't checked, but we're almost at a hundred members. Isn't that absolutely crazy? Thank you guys so much for all the support. Again, I wanted to say because of this, um, for, one of the people that join my members, I want to give, I want to give away a free coaching package where we meet each week for a 30 minute video call. And I wanted to, I posted yesterday's video a little late. So I wanted to make sure anyone who wanted to kind of uh, join, see the meditations, um, and um, try to get the free um, coaching session. I thought I'd do it extra for today. So I'll announce uh, the winner for it tomorrow. So just go ahead and click be, uh, become a member. You obviously don't have to. I'll always be um, here. I just wanted to, especially with the meditations, give something a little extra to all of the members that are meeting up. And for all of our members as well, we meet up every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And the whole goal of the members, at least for this month, is manifesting SP for this month. So I'm trying to get everyone to their specific person by Valentine's Day, and I have a manifestation of my own. I'm trying to manifest 10 
thousand success stories. So if you remember, you're first on my list of my 10,000 success stories. But again, thank you guys so much for stopping by today. If you did have any questions, leave them down below. You can also send me a question uh, personally on my website at kyleaugustcoaching.com. Thank you guys. I want to hear all of your thoughts, worries, anxieties. I say that every time, but seriously, send me a message, send me a question, send me a thought, send me a success. I always love to hear it. Again, thank you guys so much for stopping by today. Again, thanks to all the members for all the support. Again, I cannot thank you enough. I feel like that's just absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you in the next video tomorrow.